So, Maro, Maro Nam Babo. Maro Nam Babo. I'm Aina. Aina? Aina, Aina made this. Yeah. And she made this. Mm -hmm. She's making another scarf now. Okay. Very nice. Yeah, for me, huh? We're leaving. Uh, Lens up a little bit. We're leaving uh, Jar. Uh, Mac? Mac to not. Yeah, Mac, Mac to not behind us. And uh, yesterday we descended over 2,000 meters, right? Yeah. 2,000 meters from uh, Thorong Law Pass. We made it over. Kurt's feeling better. We're heading on this, down this trail, which looks like it's out of a uh, another western. And we're heading over towards those mountains. So we've got some miles, miles ahead of us. And uh, we say, Kurt, let's hit it. Yeah. We'll try to make jumps in today. We'll see what the day brings. I'm not hurting as bad as I thought I was going to be coming down over that pass, but a lot of it had to do with we arranged for porters to carry our bags just for that leg, leg of the trip. And probably a good idea. You probably like broke your knee or something with your pack. Yeah, I think my knee would have been toast coming down 2,000 meters. So, as it is, we're off to an early start, and uh, we both feel recharged. We're back into oxygen-rich air, and we had a good night's sleep. How does it feel to be over the hill, buddy? Excellent. Made over throwing law. That was the biggest challenge of our journey. Well, you kind of know you're off the beaten path, off the trail when the trail you are following, the pit marks aren't even human. <laughs> it's like on some type of deer trail or something. But it's taking us to what looks like to be a road, and uh, I'll just ask them. The cag bunny when we get there.
It's the other side of the mountain. Feels like we're walking through the World War II, post World War II. Got stone walls. Looks like they've been blasted all the hell. Desert or something. 